Hi guys, in this quick video I'll be showing you how to extract a packet trace from a Panasonic system. So hit the like button and let's get started. So you will need installer level access to your system and also the Panasonic maintenance console so you can convert the extracted trace file from the phone system to a PCAP file so you can open it with Wireshark. So enter your installer level credentials and hit login. So once you're in, you click the hammer icon at the top right hand corner of the screen. Then you go to utility and then number four monitor trace and then number three vSIP gateway protocol trace. So once you've clicked it, it'll start generating the file. Then it'll come up with a message to show you where to extract it from. So it'll save the file with the name of PRTSIPC. So you click on the link down below, file transfer. That'll take you to the file transfer PBX to PC page. At the top in the search box, just type in there capital PRT and that'll bring up that file you need. Click on the file, click transfer and save it to your computer. I always rename the file. I just put a number next to it. Just makes it easy to save future downloads that I take from the same job, really. So once you've downloaded that file, go to the directory where you have your NS or NSX maintenance console. Open that up. Then click on the IP trace file converter option browse, select that file, then click open, and OK. And then you hit OK again. And that will open up the folder where it's saved, and now it's a Wireshark file, PCAP file. So you can open it up with Wireshark. And there you go. In my previous testing, I found that the buffer isn't very big in the Panasonic system like 10 to 15 minutes so you won't get any calls at the beginning of the day if you're doing it at the end of the day and it doesn't capture RTP traffic either. Thank you for watching guys please don't forget to like subscribe and share it really encourages me to continue on making the videos. Thank you.